Morning well, guys, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm out at Sea Paulin. I've just got down here. As far as you can go onto Clink Road. It's quarter past five. It's high tide at about ten past seven. But I thought I'd just go somewhere different today. Get out of the house. Um, I've been here loads of times before, but I've never filmed it here. Been loads of times, obviously, just swimming along the beach as you do and all the rest of it. Been loads of times spinning for bass. And the very last time I came here, um, well, I couldn't fish it. It was rough as hell. Waves crashing everywhere. It was just, I think it was January, February, but it was a massive storm. Turned around, went home. <laughs> so, But um, the time before that was, I think it was the second lockdown. Uh, lockdown. The time where we could, we could get out of the house, it was like easing a bit, but you couldn't socialise and all the rest of it. You can go for a walk, take your dog for a walk or whatever. And I just bought my carp gear and came down here, which all sort of like started the journey back into sea fishing. So just looking at the tides and the weather and all that today, and I'm really tired of it. I had a lot of personal stuff going on, uh, family and that. Um, so I thought I'd come down here, give it a shot. I've got a load of uh, frozen lugworm, which has been salted. I just bought some load of uh, squid yesterday, and um, I've got the squid, mackerel, they are all the usual suspects, you know, mackerel, herring, some mussels, prawns, a few wraps and bits and pieces. And we're just going to go and see if we can get a, a bite. Um, I was just reading yesterday on a website, there was a guy put up, and it's supposed to be quite good here this time of year for a few bass around the breakers, which I knew there were, because obviously spinning and that, but um, I thought now I've got the um, half a dozen or so crab, Peter crab, squid, and worm uh, wraps it might be worth a try. So I'm going to get two, two rods set up, a big rod with pulley panel, and with a crab, Peter crab on there. I want just a scratch and rig and see if we can get a few little dabs out and flounders or whatever, anything that comes along. So without further ado, I'm going to get the stuff on, get down at the beach, and I'll see you there. Guys, we're all set up. It's ten past six, so it gives me an hour to a high tide. I've just got two rods done up. The big rod, forty foot in Uh rod, Shakespeare salt, seven thousand reel, fifty pound braid, Hercules braid, fifty five pound Asso shock leader, seventy pound rib body, and then I've got. A Pulley rig on there with panel hook, um, three, a four o and a three o must have Viking, and that's with crab and squid and worm wrap. So I'll get this one lobbed in. Probably going to go to the left with this one.
it's supposed to be high tide about 10 past 7 and it looks like it's going to come the high tide mark just behind me here over this banking we now have to go but it doesn't look like it's going to be that big today and the other rod just got me in a Lafe uh, surf carbo tech rod full carbon rod tube tip Shakespeare Salt XT 7000 mil exactly the same lines on there as the other one and same rig body but I've just got a two up and one down rig 25 pound snoods and a floor mat and we've got four ounce lead on that one five ounce on that one two o on the bottom with mackle and squid and just size ones on the, on the top two with uh, salted lug and squid so let's get this cast out it's probably going to go straight out in front of me <coughs> I bought myself uh, a windshield, proper wind cover for the GoPro because it sounds bloody terrible when there's any wind on the GoPro and I don't want the external one because as soon as you take the flap off it's not waterproof. So. Okay, let's get this one cast in. We'll go straight down and see how it's holding. Jobs are good and how you all doing anyway? All good I hope. Probably just gonna leave my box here and see how the tide's gonna come in. So I'll probably expect to walk it back a little bit. But it's just nice to get out, de chill, relax, de-stress. You never know about a bass around here. You know, just hopefully the crab bait will pull something in. Maybe later on when the tide, we're at high tide and that. I might move further around to the left and see if I can get that cast pretty much to the sea defence there. They do patrol along there. Well, I'll just hope for anything. I came here years and years ago, it must have been about three or four years ago when the very first or second lockdown. Just rifled a bit of old carp gear together and carp rods and stuff. It was a beautiful day, summer's day, no tide. I can't remember what I used as bait. There should be a few bass arriving now this time of year. And I was just say I was reading on the website and that one we've had a few northerly winds lately. North and north beastly, the fish get pushed into the bays. And I know a couple of times in the summer, when it came down here, in the evening, a bit spinning and that, the bass, the bass push, push everything in here, and the water is erupting on the surface, pushing all the bait fish in. Might be a little bit early for that. But something different, well for you guys anyway. 
It's just I was I was going to go to East London or West London, but the tide was just it was high tide at midnight, and then I think it was lower about quarter to six, something like that this morning. So. I'd have missed it, it would have been all wrong, but... Even so, next week I'll definitely be going to one of them two. Probably East London first, I think. It's half six. Just had a little bang on the, this rod here. See if it develops into anything. Had a good knock. So there are fish in the vicinity. Let's hope we can land one. Might just be a little dab or something. There was definitely a big, big knock on it and tip flew down a bit. There we go. Might be a little dab on or something. I'll give it one minute and then we'll reel it in to see if there's anything on. Missed that, but uh, definitely bite. Okay, it's about eight o'clock. I just refreshed the uh, big bait. I put another bit of half a crab on there, Peter crab, and some more squid. I'm gonna get this cast out towards the end of the point there if I can. Right, you can walk down with you. The kayak has come down. Nice day for it. Just put a whole shell on, put on the bottom of that one, change the snoods over, size one must add Vikings on the top two above. I'm going to bring that in in a minute. I'll probably just go with lug, salted lug and squid on all three. Uh, 
There has been a little baby seal pup just literally working five yards out, ten yards out. It's a lovely day. I can leave that there. I'm going to bring my gear down now. I don't think it's going to get any higher now. In fact, for anything. I'm going to bring my bit, uh, gear closer so I can sit down and chill. Should be on the ebb now anyway. For those <clears throat> rattles and knocks that I had earlier on, which I thought were fish, and they definitely look like fish to me. As I say, crabs normally just <clears throat> gentle backwards and forwards, and then it springs down and then it springs back. So these were definitely shot rattles and packs. Even some of the logworm were gone, so. But that stopped now, so we're coming up to high tide. Absolutely nothing. It's really weird. I don't know if they're just absolutely tiny fish. Little tiny little school fish. I don't know. It's strange. It's strange. They're definitely bites, but it's not connected with anything at all. Nothing. Doesn't matter if I leave it. Strike when I'm getting a bite. It's really odd. Well, I'll try again. I just don't know what to suggest at the minute. Is it? And I've tried waiting, and then when I get a rattle, just slowly walk, uh, winding in just to see if there's any crabs on the end, but nothing. But say, in my experience, those well, you saw it there. Only just the little sort of like. Little Joey Herrings or something. Yeah. Sprat sardines or something, I don't know. We'll keep trying.
basically that's what it's all about just getting out there at the end of the day I mean, catching a nice fish is a bit of a bonus but you've got to make the most of your time off make the most of your days off and that and just get out and chill and relax and enjoy it And I think just going to a different place every week, I think you'll end up with a, you build up a good repertoire and sort of like knowledge of where it's good, where it's bad, and where fish well, and rather than go to the same place week in, week out, week in, week out. I mean, it was Ummin and Aaron I'm going to Weybourne today because saw a couple of posts yesterday that the smooth hounds have arrived but you know probably have to fish through the night and or early morning late into the evening but I've, done, I've been done way born a couple of times so definitely another three four weeks it'll be worth heading up there for the evening That's what you want in it though. One of them and your rod. Get out there and do a bit of spinning for back and stuff. Okay, the old mackerel's all been chewed to bits, look. I'm just gonna cut this snood off. I've just made one up with a longer snood. Okay, just cut the snood off. Put a lot longer snood on, it's about a foot and a half to two foot. I'm just going to hook that underneath the uh, one of the grippers. Let's put a bigger hook on there. I'm just going to hang it like that. I'll just refresh the top two with some more salted lug and squid. I'll get it cast out again. Okay, it's half seven. <clears throat> Keep getting them strange bites. I think it must be crabs, but it must be quite big crabs. But uh, I've just uh, kept the same rig, but changed all the snoods. Put a slightly long one on here, and it's going to go for a whole shell on prawn, tip of squid on the bottom. Same with the top two, the ones above. But what I've done is. Just uh, ever so slightly short snoods, and I've put my favourite size one Mustad Viking hooks on there. A lot bigger, a lot bigger point, nice barb on there. And just hopefully, because uh, the other ones were, I think they were like size twos or fours, so quite small hooks. They're getting a bit old and rusty, so just change them over to brand new hooks and see if we can get anything. Well, what I might do after this one, if, we can still, if the prawn's still going to get ragged out by crabs and that, I'll probably put worm on the bottom. Well, it's nice and warm again today, 14, 15 degrees. There's quite a few birds now just congregating out on the bay there, just on the outside of the bay. Oh, what an amazing day. The sun is absolutely, it's getting out really warm now. It's better, better than the forecast, well. It was supposed to rain all day, I was looking at it yesterday, it was supposed to say from 7 to about 9, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. 40, 50 percent chance of rain, but we had one or two spots when we got down here, but I'm going to take this jumper off in a minute. And now at the minute, I don't really care. We catch or we don't catch. It's nice to get a bit of vitamin D, get the sun in your face, be by the sea and just 
take a stock of life. Well, I've not been out and bought any bait, so you don't have to see fishing. Bought a load, load of packets of squid the other day, by the week. Three for a tenner. Take out three or four at a time, the whole squid. Buy a load of mackerel and herring and strip it up. Put it in a little bit of oil, freeze it. Back pack it and freeze it. A little bit of fish oil, a bit of squid oil, and it just sort of keeps it, stop it drying out when you freeze stuff. Or back, do backpack it, which helps a hell of a lot. And just whatever. Anything out in the freezer. Prawns, mussels. Made use of all the lugworm, salt with all them, but bled them first. Just get a bait needle through the head, squeeze all the blood out. Fill a nice little container full of salt, just dip them in, totally cover them, leave them for 30 seconds, take them out, wrap them in freezing, in newspaper, and then cling film that really tight, and then bag it. And then they're really out. They're like liquid sticks. And I froze them as well, they, they kept really dry. So you don't have, it doesn't have to be expensive. You just got to be out there trying. You don't need all the latest rods and reels and top of the range stuff. It's just about enjoying really, isn't it? I think you, you get that when you're getting a little bit older. Before I was, you know, was all through my teens and up to mid 20s, keen matchman. And I do like that, yeah, that adrenaline and adrenaline and rush, being in a match and competition. And I, I still miss that and I do like it, but something that appeals to you to come out now and chuck a rod out. Sit and relax and chill. And if you get a fish, you get a fish. I mean, that's sea fishing and that, and carp fishing, but when I'm on the rivers, I still take it more seriously, if you know what I mean. But that's just the way I'm born and bred. <laughs> Got 15, got max fishing and that. 14, 15, max fishing. I always want to try and get maximised, get the most out of your peg, and get the most out of your swim. And The sea fishing's a bit different. It's more about the enjoyment factor than anything else. Well, this ain't bad, is it? Just refresh them baits on there, put mackerel on the bottom one, mackerel and squid on the one above the lead, and I've just put worm back on the top one, worm and squid. And I give that I give that a lot longer cast as far as I can get it. So I tried a couple short and nothing.
two uh, really good bikes on this rod, <coughs> on the bottom bay, on the mackerel. And we've got one now. Really good hard rattles and there's one there. But we're just not connected, I don't know why. I don't know if, I'm, that's definitely a fish, man. Very hell. It's not a crab, crab is just a general thing. That's, doo -doo -doo -doo. But it's not connecting with anything. around. This time, felt a little head shake. There was a bit more weight to it. Unbelievable. That's the fourth time now. Well, what I'm going to do is, because there's very little tide, I'm going to go and put a pyramid lead on. And there's old Sammy Seal about 10 yards out in front of me. Just popped his head up. So if my uh, left hand rod with the crab on goes screaming, we know what it is. Literally on the beach, sir. I got off you. <laughs> He's literally hunting just inside the shoreline. Okay, he's half eight. Really slow, so I'm just having a play about. I'm just going to go for all fish baits because the worms seem to not be working at all. So I just put a nice bit of herring, just straight herring on the bottom. A mackerel and squid on the top two snoods when we get this cast out.
Yeah, I was just about to say that this morning is the first morning and no alcohol last night. Well, not the first time we've not had any alcohol, but didn't drink last night, had an early night. But I really had to force myself up this morning. The alarm went off at about five to four. And I put it on snooze two or three times. It was that last time I thought, if I don't get up now, I'm never going to get up. But I'm really glad I did, but I think I mis misread the times <laughs> in my sort of like dazed and dozy state this morning. It's, uh, it's flooding quite fast now. And I just had a look again. I thought, oh, it's quarter to nine. And uh, it was obviously low this morning at seven. It's high tide at ten past twelve this afternoon. So we're going to be fishing it on the flood all day long. That's not too bad, but I'll have to move back a bit in a minute. Because it's coming in quite fast now. We might start picking up here with this uh, sallow shandy. Shandy? No, no shandy. Shallow sandy bay. Might start pushing the fish, fish in a bit, a bit closer. Man, I've just seen something splash and rise in, in the middle of the bay here. Put the fish baits on, I'm still getting them bangs and rattles. But I'm really glad I really pushed myself this morning. I don't know why I had just had to force myself up this morning. I feel like I've had about 10, 12 pints last night. I think it's just so thick head and that, headache. But stayed clean last night. But I think it's just with everything going on and a bit of stress and stuff. I think there's someone out in the bay, I think the benefit's spinning out, see? Looks like it might have a rod out. I'll turn you around. That's about quarter to eleven. It's absolutely dead as a tramp there. Seeing as there's nothing biting, well, I might as well have a bite myself. Nice cheese and onion roll. Mm -hmm. Nice egg mayonnaise with a bit of spring onion and tomato. Just the job. Very nice, I have to say. Seems to be getting all the bites on low water. Nothing on the flood. What more could you ask for in a day like today? Plenty, plenty of small boats out, grabbing and work, fishing and that. The old tractor's going backwards and forwards. So I knew when I got down here this morning, a bit flat calm, I thought, oh, might have an odd chance of a dab or a little flounder or something. But we live in Hope, it's coming up to high tide in another hour or so, another hour and a half. Might be a chance of a bass coming in the bay. We need a sabre blank, we need a sabre blank. Can't have two on the bounce. And I know we're out of fish at Waybourne. I know what we've done.
You gotta be in it to win it. Anyway, cheers. on the flood. I've just recast the uh, big bait with another fresh uh, crab and squid and worm wrap on that one. It's well on the flood now so I've just refresh this one. I put a nice big bit of mackerel and salted log on the bottom one. Mackerel and squid on the middle snood and a nice big bit of salted log and squid on the top one. seems to be the salted log that's getting rat rattled all the time and ragged and I've just noticed there's a lot of like sand hoppers or like, little swift things keep coming and diving and right in the surf there and catching tiny tiny little bait fish so I think that's just what's pecking the bait away I'm not going to go quite as far as that one, now it's on the flood. Just going to pull this back a bit. Just seen a big black seal about five minutes ago come up and I just hope that's not scaring them off in these pools. Yeah, we're not about sea pooling. It's more like sea pooling, I think. About a minute. Okay hey guys, it's quarter to twelve, it's high tide at ten past twelve. I'm gonna fish on for another half an hour, 45 minutes to about half twelve maximum. If I catch anything, I'll get back to you. If not, well, we blanked again. <laughs> Another blank session. But I knew it was going to be difficult today. But it's all about getting out. It's all about enjoying it. Just be speaking to some lovely people. <clears throat> anyway, tight lines. All the best, guys. And see you again in another one. Take care.